What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness on my way to Destination Dallas, getting ready to crush back and ran into this crazy cool surprise. Check it out. Great song, great band. That's JC All Stars up there in front of Destination Dallas, giving us a good show. And speaking of surprises, OCJ Pierce and Jason Marino of Drowning Pool was there, man. What a great time. Speaking of surprises and great times, pull out your calendar, brothers and sisters. Mark down May 20th and 21st as Fit Context's 2016 confirmation dates. We got a meeting next week. Stay tuned for more information coming out about tickets, booths, etc. Man, I'm so excited. Having a good workout here with my man Todd of Icon Meals. Man, let me tell you something. I've trained with him a couple times, and it's nothing but intensity. Doesn't matter how big, how strong, how lean, how whatever, man. This gym is full of intensity. Love the environment. Love training here. That's my man Matt and my other brother Brandon of Shredded Supplements. He actually carries a Big J's pre-workout and in intensity as well as the branch chain amino acid intra intensity check that out i'll leave a bunch of links in the description box for you guys to check out now i was a few minutes late for the show these guys started doing the pull downs on the hammer string first to warm up and moved over to the pull downs with the stiff arm pull downs now i'm not one to superset but i definitely like a good workout so i got myself warmed up and please remember guys Make sure that you realize that in these videos, a lot of times, we don't show you the warm-ups, we don't show you how you get ready to work out, we don't show you the cardio or the foam rolling. A lot of, some people do, but some people don't. But realize this, it took me a good 15 minutes to get ready to yank a hold of that whole stack and pull it. Now, we were supersetting, or they were supersetting, the pull-downs with the stiff arm pull-downs with the rope there, and then moved to the seated rows and would superset that with the close grip pull downs. And that was something that I just did not get ready to do just yet. I was still kind of warming up. Once we got to this T-bar row, my body was ready to rock and roll. So you saw that I went ahead and did the stack on the pull downs. I'd done plenty of warm ups. And then I moved over and finished off with a good couple of sets of 15 to 16 reps on the seated row, getting fully stretched out at the end. And again, moving on to do these T-bar rows. Now, Todd's the, I'm telling you, he's the master of super sets. <laughs> this guy will die killing you or staying ahead of you. And uh, this is a 160, man. I'm telling you, props to my brother here. Full-time worker, family man, getting it in. I'm telling you, if you do not make time for it, your body will not show it. And he certainly has a great physique. He's a competitor, and he's still crushing the iron at 4 a.m. or 10 p.m., you name it. He's in the gym. Great workout partner. Can't wait to do another workout with him. He's, a matter of fact, got chest lined up in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, started my heavy-duty sets with the T-ball row. I had seven wheels on there. If you can remember a video I just did, I was barely able to do six. I've actually finally got the release to eat as much as I want, to train as hard as I want, and I'm saying as hard as I want. He's got me at 60% now, and I'll I'll handle 60%, man. I'm really excited to be back under the iron. Uh, I feel good about my grip. I was actually gripping those 160s without straps or chalk, uh, rocking five, six, and seven repetitions on both sides. I'm uh, moving on back to the T-bar row. There's Matt getting nasty with a few wheels. And again, supersetting back and forth from the T-bars to the dumbbell rows. This is one of my last, actually this is my second to last set. Uh, yanked that seventh wheel off, had a good set with six. Felt like I was pausing good. Felt like I was getting a good explosion. Could have squeezed just a little bit more, but again, trying to get that weight thrown around, kind of training uh, in the lower rep scheme just to get the muscles back activated, control that central nervous system into thinking we're going to get bigger. And that's what's happening, man. I've gotten back up to about 262, 265 now. Now check out that Gunsmith shirt. Shout out to Gunsmith. Uh, I'll also put their link in the description box. They sent me that. It's a 3XL and I'm about 265. It fits like a glove. One of my new favorite shirts. We finished up actually with a set of 20 with, I believe I did five wheels, uh, Todd did four wheels. We just dropped one wheel off of our max rep and knocked out 20 reps with that. And then we're moving on to our last super set of the workout. We had the fat close grip pull down bar for, uh, I believe we did anywhere from eight to 15 repetitions. And we were super setting back and forth with that close grip fat bar uh, to the trap shrugs there. Uh, back and forth and it was a good finisher. I'm telling you my back and my lats and my erectors and traps 
and rear delts and my biceps are even smoked and this is two days later after the fact so finishing up great workout again check the description box there's going to be tons of information down there where you can find uh, my products uh, different sponsorships etc check it out there's the team right there finishing up this is actually my february's intensity schedule back it up and pause it for, to see more information monday february 1st i'll be at the grand prairie ultimate sport nutrition store come hang out and real quick be sure you follow me on twitter instagram and periscope i'm very active there i love corresponding with you guys and i appreciate all the support until next time 10 city rules train hardcore and we'll see you next video